Tenor is a new brand that has been launched in India starting with two smartphones, the G and the E. Both the smartphones are developed by Walk-in Technology and available exclusively through Amazon India. The E is a lower end variant of the two and brings some pretty impressive camera specifications at the price range. Let's see whether those specifications translate into good performance. The Tenor E features a 13 megapixel camera with f2 aperture at the back. The image quality offered by the phone is pretty impressive, especially at this price point. The HDR mode in particular is really special and offers much improved dynamic range as well as sharpness over the regular mode. In fact, for some instances, it seems to do even better than the costlier Tenor G. Although Tenor haven't mentioned it explicitly, it does seem to have the same RGB sensor featured on the Tenor G. Sharpness is pretty good and the overall detailing as well as dynamic range is nice too. HDR mode improves it and there's no shutter lag as such and shutter speeds are sometimes faster than the regular photos. However, it does take a while to save the image after processing once it is captured. Under low light performance isn't as impressive as there's quite a bit of noise. Note that we have taken these photos in really low light with only artificial light or a bit of natural light to see how far we can stretch the phone's legs. If you have some ambient light available to light the scene, it doesn't get too noisy. However, performance is more or less on par with most other phones in this category under low light. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel unit with the same f2 aperture. It takes nearly identical shots to that taken with the Tenor G. However, surprisingly, there's one thing on here that the G doesn't have and that is the HDR mode with the front camera. You have similar processing in the HDR mode with front camera just like you would get with the rear camera. It helps in situations where there's a lot of light coming from the back or you want to take a more dramatic image with the surroundings as well. Video recording maxes out at 720p but there is the ability to choose between 30fps and 60fps modes. 720p 30fps does support EIS as well but the stabilization isn't that pronounced and shakes are still apparent. 60fps mode has a lot of moire as well as noise and does tend to refocus quite often without needing to do so. Tenor needs to work on improving the video recording through software updates. Overall, the Tenor E is pretty good smartphone in terms of camera at this price range. In terms of image quality, it performs really well with both the front and rear cameras in good light. Performance does, however, get affected in low light, but that happens with other phones in this category as well. Video recording is one that needs a lot of improvement and we're hoping that a software update will fix it soon. You can purchase the Tenor E through the link in description below and we'll be comparing both the Tenor E and G in terms of camera very soon. So please do stay tuned for that. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next one. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get the latest updates from us. Thanks for watching this video. See you again in the next one.